Hello friends, welcome to my channel Sushant Chaswais. Today we are at the next topic that is the Bishop Adigams and we are at the second position of our Bishop Adigams. So I am going to use both theoretical and practical actual game positions in the Bishop Adigam topic. So today we have got the continuation from the previous position. In my previous lesson on Bishop Adigam that was lesson number 209. We saw that the king is required on the other side of the bishop and usually the shorter diagonal is where we need the, the defender needs his king. But if the diagonal is too short like here, once the defender's bishop has to occupy the short diagonal, if the diagonal is too short, let's say 3 squares and less, then the position cannot be held. So this position is white to play and win. So we will see that white will possibly be able to snatch the squares c8, b7 and a6 from the black bishop. Of course b7 is in our hand, we have to snatch c8 and a6. So white starts with the move with b7 forcing the bishop to leave the long diagonal. Best possibility for the bishop is to be on the long diagonal but mostly white is able to force him away from that. Black goes bishop f5 immediately try to either c8 square as soon as the white bishop leaves let's say bishop f3 d5 or g2 black has to go to bishop c8 otherwise there comes b7 and the white pawn wins so bishop c8 and now it looks like white's job is done if white plays bg4 forcibly deflecting the bishop but we see that the bishop now has the a6 square. That is why the king is required on the other side. With king on c5, this method for white would have won more easily. What should white do here so that the bishop doesn't have the a6 and the c8 squares both? We note one thing that bishop cannot remain on c8 if other moves are blocked. So what other move is there? Black has the move kb5 to waste. So we will put black in a zutsu with the move bishop e2 snatching the b5 square for the king and the a6 square for the bishop with the bishop move on e2 and now we see that the black bishop is driven away by force suppose king moves to b4 then bishop a6 forcing the bishop away bishop moves away then pawn comes to b7 if bishop takes a6 then king a6 and again comes b7 next move and the pawn queens and that leaves him with the bishop moves. Bishop on b7 will be simply captured. Same happens to ba6 then bishop a6. And any other move, let's say bishop f5 or h3 allows b7 and the pawn wins. Firstly, this is the first point of discussion today. I must bring one more point to your attention now. If the short diagonal is slightly bigger than this, then the bishop will be able to hold the position. Let's see how. Let's say we put the whole position one rank down here and now we see that the same way of snatching the squares on the short diagonal will not work. After bb6, bishop f4 or g5 both are possible and after bf2, bd8 and we see that we will not be able to put him in zugzwang because if we do bg3 there is a5 and if we do bishop e1 then there is c7 and we will not be able to snatch forcibly the squares d8 c7 and a5 all the three cannot be covered one of the simplest point is if kb7 then just king b5 and after the bishop is lost the position is still drawn we learned that usually four squares are required in the short diagonal so that the bishop is able to hold against the bishop and pawn. I hope you are finding these lessons useful and instructive. Do like, share and subscribe the channel. Thanks for your time.